What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. I am so excited to join you back again tonight. I have a highly requested video from you saltwater fishermen here in the Pacific Northwest. So we're going to dive right into making our own release fish tool. And $10 or less, and you can make it in under 10 minutes. So, stay tuned! Alright guys, so we are making our own fish release tool. In the Northwest, a lot of our places in the saltwater have restrictions on either a type of species or a type within that species. So hypothetically, let's say a Chinook salmon cannot be taken out of the water because the season is closed. Well, this could be a size limit restriction. It could be a fish that is not a keeper size too so sub legals fall into this so there's a different couple rules that you have to make sure you're checking out for and so for the Chinook salmon in particular if I have a fish that's really small we call them shakers happens a lot here in the Northwest and you want to find a way that makes it to where you're not touching the fish at all or having to bring them over the side of the boat to release them so we have something super simple and easy for you guys to make. A quick release tool that has some sort of hook on the end of this will make the difference for you guys on the water. And this is so simple. I made it honestly in about five minutes, but I'll say 10 minutes with prep and everything. You can have your own and you can even make a couple out of what we're gonna do. So. We're going to dive right into this and showcase to you how easy this is. So, honestly, it is three or four materials needed. And if you have a power tool, this makes it a little bit easier. But honestly, you can do this all by hand, super simple, and really don't get too complicated with it. But what we're going to do is take a look at the materials needed first. So you want some sort of finishing tape. I use just duct tape. If you guys have athletic tape, um, could do a lot of different things. If you really want to paint this, this is totally up to you to seal it. I want something that was just cheap, easy to put together, and super effective. I don't have to put a lot of time out there. So totally up to you how much you want to invest. But the first thing I would recommend is going to your local Hobby Lobby or some kind of hobby store and pick up a dowel. This is a 3 foot, 36 inch wood dowel solid. Now this happens to be a 7 8 inch diameter by the 36 inches, which I feel like in your hand really is a good good feel, right? It fits right. Um, so I did that. You could do 3 quarter, there's 1 inch, there's smaller as well. But this 7 8 seemed to me to be pretty rigid, don't have to worry about it. So that's the first piece you'll need is the dowel. The second thing you're going to need, guys, is some sort of metal hook. And I will put a link to some of these below, but it's a simple brass hook. Got this down at our Ace Hardware. You can find these at Fred Meyer, Walmart. Anybody carries these, really, and that's just totally up to you. This is a one-inch size. Um, it's totally as big as you want to get. There's inch and a quarter, there's inch and a half. Um, I know the one that I had on the one with the tape I showed you. This one is a 7 8 So, for size comparison, you can see there one is slightly bigger than the other. And the one in my hand is bigger even yet. So it really depends on what you want to do because I like something in that 7 8 to 1 inch that gives you a good solid hook to run your line down and get it all free. So that's material two is the hook. Now material three, all it really is is some gel super glue. I like the Gorilla Glue, but you could go with some other brands as well. Um, but some sort of super glue, and that will take basically take care of securing the hook to your dowel. 
Now, when I mentioned a power tool, so you could do the power tool to cut the size, the dowel, however you want it, right? This is just my test piece to showcase to you guys, but it also would work if you really wanted to use this on the water. Something short, simple. You gotta figure out the comfortable length. So I use a, a miter saw to cut these up. Tool up you, you could use um, a hacksaw. Really is all in your realm of imagination. Um, but the other power tool, you're gonna want a drill. And that drill will help you to preset the hole for the hook to go into and just really makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have one of those, you can easily do it by hand. The wood is soft enough. You want to center your hole just like I did in this. And that hook will line up and go in extremely nicely. And I go about, see if I can show it here, go about halfway in then I will put a bunch of super glue gel in there and secure that all the way down and just like that it's all ready to go so I took duct tape made a handle like the good old days of playing baseball I know Donnie you would appreciate that Many hours we used to spend wrapping our bats for games, but comfort grip of some sort, just so it's easy to handle. Um, and then you cut it to length the way you want it. So I did specifically, and I'll step back out of the frame a little bit more. This is more like 28 inches for comfort. If I'm reaching over the boat to unhook a fish, I want something that isn't too big but something that is still functional right so if you wanted this little foot long piece totally could be done and it's just an easy simple hook release some people might want the full 36 inches to give them a better extension so that is the customizable part it's so easy I'm explaining this so it's a little longer but reality is guys I built that in probably a minute, aside from already having it pre-cut. So that's how simple it is. You can finish it off, you can paint it to seal the wood. You don't really have to. It will work great the way that is right there. So release hook for the ocean or Puget Sound Northwest guys. You know what I'm talking about. Helps with fish that can't be taken out of the water, maybe even a toothy critter, and you run basically, and I'll show it in a video clip here, but you will hook the hook on your line, run it down to where you get to the lure or the, the hook itself, and you'll just turn it, and because it's barbless, and we have to fish barbless here in the Pacific Northwest, it will release that hook out. Fish doesn't have to get touched, we don't harm the fish at all, makes it super simple to use. So hope this was a help for you guys. I know a highly requested video. Um, so thank you so much for that suggestion guys. I think this will help a lot of people and uh, be very useful. So comment below if you guys got any other kinds of ideas you want to see a DIY on. Happy to help myself put that together. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below. There's so much more content coming. I cannot wait to show you guys what's on the horizon. So as always, take care and fish on! Hey guys, I really hope to show this on the water, but the footage I had ended up having a big water drop on the lens and unfortunately was not able to see exactly what we're doing. So, I have a way to showcase this directly using our little new release tool that we made just a few minutes ago. Um, it happens a lot, you guys, if you're fishing in anywhere, really. It be the Puget Sound where you have all sorts of salmon that are tiny, we call them shakers or smolts. You could be fishing a lake and have small fish. And really just the fact of not having to touch them with your hand truly is a great way to keep these fish alive better and having less mortality rate. So a release tool like this we just made is crucial to having future runs having better survival rates because honestly when you're using spoons and other even bait 
you tend to get a lot of smaller fish as you troll for those big salmon. So I uh, want to showcase this in an easy fashion. Happens a lot, right? Here's one of our little herring holy moly spoons and we got ourselves a little shaker on there, right? This is a similar scenario that happens all the time. Um, so to showcase how this actually works, if you're out on the water, you're going to take the hook itself, right? You're going to hook it onto the line and you're going to run down to where it goes, just over the lure. And what happens is it spins over the top of that hook and changes to exactly the direction that that hook is. And then you'll just take the release tool and you'll be able, because it's a barbless hook, spin it just like that and the fish is off. That way you can lean over the boat and especially having a tool, like I said, the way that I custom cut these, this small one is going to be now in my backpack a lot too because you can quickly go down just like I showed. You take your spoon, run it down the line, it's going to hook on the hook right at the way that the angle is. You lift up and turn the other way with the pressure on the main line, and that fish pops off. So, okay, so I'll show it one more time. Here's our baby salmon or tiny fish imitation. Hooked up like you would see it in the water, right? On the spoon. I'm just going to run the hook down the main line uh, to the lure, right to the hook. And I'll show it to you if I can get close. You can see how it starts to already turn and position that. And all I do is I start to rotate the hook. Boom! Simple as that. So that is the DIY release tool. Less than 10 bucks. You can make it in less than 10 minutes. And this will save you a lot of time and honestly make our future runs even better. So take care and fish on!